Hey guys, Crow Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Calvin, uh, we watched episode two of Game of Thrones, The King's Road, yesterday yep. on Saturday, today, Sunday. Today we're watching Lord Snow. Anything we really want to bring up or just want to kind of get into it? Um, um, queen's a bitch. The queen is a bitch. The prince is a dick. Possibly a bastard. Maybe. We don't know. That's Calvin's theory. So, Calvin, you're not going to at all go into any of the comments, right? No, yeah. I haven't I haven't been looking at the comments. Yeah, he at generally all. doesn't go into comments. So you guys can have a field day with going through all your theories and spoilers and all that stuff. Yeah. Just know that Calvin won't read any of it. So we can have fun as he discovers what we all already know. Yeah. And but, if there's anything in there that's funny that you know I can know about or yeah. already do know about that you want to yeah, mention I'll, to me. I'll moderate absolutely. It for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank okay. you. <laughs> All right. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get into this third episode. This is called uh Lord Snow. It's really good music. Uh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I love yeah. it. Really get into it. There's a video of these uh these like opera singers, like these like Polynesian opera singers doing this. Oh and yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> is that They're like is that <laughs> acapella? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. yeah, it's awesome. Oh, we'll you have to watch that, that yeah. sometime as like a bonus or something yeah. like that. Alright, let's get into it. Based on novels of George R. R. Martin. Like J. R. R. Tolkien. I know. <laughs> funny how that uh, yeah, funny. how that worked out. Alright, so we're in the capital. King's Landing. Not so cold up here. Mm -mm. Or down here. Actually looks uh Pretty arid. Yeah. If you'd like to change it to something more appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ned. He's a soldier. Mm -hmm. You just stood there and watched. Five hundred men just stood there and watched. The Mad King burnt his brother and his father alive. Edwards. Is that what you tell yourself at night? Servants of justice. That you were avenging my father when you shove your sword in Aerys Targaryen's back. Tell me, if I stab the Mad King in the belly instead of the back, would you admire me more? You served him well. And served him was safe. So once it was clear hmm. that the Mad King was gonna lose the rebellion, then Jamie, he Jamie, who's a member of the King's Guard, sworn to protect him, killed him. And now he's called the Kingslayer. But he was rewarded for it. Someday he'll sit on the throne and the truth will be what you make it. Wow. Mm hmm. That's not doing a young, royal, adolescent boy's mind any good. That's how power works, though. She's very beautiful and young. And if you don't like her, you won't see her. Yeah. Before. History is written by the victor. Mm -hmm. Enough of that, young lady. Eat your food. <laughs> you like that? Every every line he speaks, I like him. Mm -hmm. You know the first thing about sword fighting? Sticking with the pointy end. <laughs> That's the essence of it. Oh, feisty she is. Huh? Try not to stab your sister with it. Or the prince. <laughs> yeah. I love Ravens. <laughs> he just looks so happy all the time. <laughs> my favorite from this game. Oh, my sweet summer child. What do you know about fear? Thousands of years ago, there came a night that lasted a generation. In that darkness, the white walkers came for the first time. They swept through cities and kingdoms, riding their dead horses, hunting with their packs of pale spiders, big as owls. What are you telling him now? Only what the little lord wants to hear. <laughs> hey, so I want some time with him. Apparently, to get the good stories, all you have to do is piss her off. <laughs> <laughs> Just his lower half. When you're paraplegic. It's terrible. You and I, it's like... I lost this dagger. To whom? Tyrion Lannister. The imp. 
So he bet against his brother. As any brother would. <laughs> <laughs> I love when he says bastard. Bastard. John's well trained. Well, old Snow, it appears you're the least useless person here. Don't clean yourselves up. There's only so much I can stomach in a day. <laughs> Alistair Thorne is his name. My wife is in Winterfell. Littlefinger. His name is Peter Baelish, but they call him Littlefinger because he's from an island, a set of islands called the Littlefingers. Huh. Probably shattered every rib he had. Stood over him, hammer in the air. Right before I brought it down, he shouted, Wait! I love Robert. <laughs> She's definitely learning. Mm -hmm. She's getting a little more tan, too. Yeah. I like that tan with that white hair. Definitely helps. <laughs> Going to the marijuana field. I do take orders from savages or their sluts. Do you hear me? I'll tell you, a guy that knows how to use a whip is one of the most dangerous melee combat guys ever. <laughs> Kill these dothraki dogs! Like, even against swords and shields and stuff, whips can, like, yeah, kill you. Viserys is starting to learn that mm -hmm. his deal might not be going very well. He gave all the power to his sister. Mm-hmm. You walk. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ricaro, I think is his name. Oh, good. He's recurring. Yeah. Ugh. Yep. Fuck that guy's life. <laughs> I think it has counterweights and stuff designed in it, too. You just gotta push it. <laughs> well, That's good job. for him. You just have to sit there in the cold and, <laughs> and wait for that stupid to bell to ring. <laughs> and then, oh, gotta get up and, and Conan yeah. this thing around. Oh, it uh. looks so cold. The walls are ice. Yeah. Wanted to be here. When you saw it for the first time. <laughs> I wanted to be here when you saw that for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yorn has a fun job. He just has to go everywhere and take all the prisoners and bring yeah. them back. But I mean, he's always traveling. Man, she's so damn good looking. <laughs> Isn't she? Yeah. Shit! Shit! Oh, that. <laughs> Remember, his last name is Mormont, right? We've already heard another Mormont. Do you remember what it is? Lord Commander Mormont of the Night's Watch. Mm -hmm. That's his father. Wow. I'd hate fighting in mud. Softer than dirt? Yeah, but footwork is your most important thing. Hey, when you're fighting. better practice in the mud than, than have to fight in it without it, I guess. There's ten castles along the wall. Seems like every time we see that box, there are more candles around it. Yeah. The dragon is the sigil of House Targaryen, you know. She sees it to be symbolic that she has those eggs. Lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> and he could not say anything. <laughs> He's pissing off the side of the world. Hey, that's what he wanted. Yeah. He's a man of his word. 700 feet. 
You are late, boy. Tomorrow you will be here at midday. Who are you? Your dancing master, Sirio Forel. I love Sirio. Tomorrow you will catch him. <laughs> <laughs> what if I drop him? The steel must be part of your arm. Can you drop part of your arm? No. Nine years, Sirio Forel was first sold to the Sea Lord of Brown. All men are made of water. Do you know this? If you pierce them, the water leaks out and they die. Now you will try to strike me. <laughs> Tomorrow you catch it. Ned seed in too much war. That can happen. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think of Cereal Pharrell? The dancing master. The Bravosi. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, I ins you instantly have to like that, yeah. guy, right? He is the first sword of Bravos. Uh. We'll learn about more about Bravos in the day, but it's a free city in that other country. So he's okay. kind of a foreigner here. But, uh, you know. I think it's telling that Ned Stark, when his daughter says, I want to learn, and, you know, you figure that he'd just, you know, all right, I'll teach you a little bit. He gets one of the best swordsmen in the world. Hey. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? If his, if his daughter wants to learn how to use a sword, yeah. then she's going to use it whether she yeah. knows how to use it or not. Well, I'm just saying, like, I understand that, you know, a, a lord would do that for his son. They'd, they'd do that for that. But this is his daughter. You know, women don't do that kind of thing. But Ned... He's not the normal kind of guy. No, he's not. You know, and I think that he sees that fire in Arya, and he wants it to be tempered by the best hammer. It's going to be interesting having Khaleesi's son. Yeah, yeah, and it happened pretty quick, too. Like, yeah. But, I mean, obviously months have passed since this right. thing has started, but, um, yeah, the, the great stallion has blessed us. Viserys, as we've seen, he doesn't have the power he thought he was going to have by marrying his, you know. Yeah. But Daenerys would have a half Targaryen half Dothraki son. Mm -hmm. That could be pretty big. Um, so you understand Jamie Lannister, he's being called the Kingslayer because he killed yeah, Aerys he Targaryen. Killed, he Aerys killed the Mad, Mad King. King. Robert rewarded him with, you know, for doing that because he, yeah, he killed your, you know. But Ned, who's like the most loyal, honorable man in the world, he sees that as like the worst thing you could do. Like, I mean, he broke his yeah. oath. Like even, that that other guy even for um, the right reason he broke his oath. The other guy that Robert Baratheon was talking to, that's Barris and Selmy. He's one of the best sword fighters in the world, even at his old age. He's a member of the Kingsguard too. He stayed loyal to the Mad King, even though he was mad, you know. But he took his oath seriously. Ned, what spared his life because of that? You know what I'm saying? So you have two dynamics. You have the Kingslayer who killed his king. When, got when rewarded. shit was going down, he got rewarded. Then you have Barrison Selmy, who stayed loyal and still got rewarded, you know? Yeah. Barrison is like the leader of the Kingsguard, the seven white knights that protect the king. Yeah, okay, so uh, they were talking a little bit about Ned's brother and father, right? Like, the Mad King, I can't remember exactly the circumstances in which he did this, but they defied him or angered him in some way. And he set it up so that Ned's brother was burning in the middle of the Great Hall... And to save him, he tied the the father up, or maybe it was the other way around. I think it was. I think the father was tied up, and if he could only get to the rope to cut it, he would save him, right? But he tied it around his neck, so the farther he tried to do it, the more he was getting strangled, and he strangled himself. So that's what he did to his brothers, Jeez. you know. And that's what forced Ned. Like, I'm with you, Robert. We're killing this king, you know. Yeah. Um. Another thing to remember too. Catelyn talked a little bit about what you know. Catelyn and Littlefinger. They grew up when they were kids together, right? And Littlefinger always was in love with her. Catelyn was meant to go to Ned's brother to be married to him. Hmm. And Littlefinger challenged... Remember he said, I have a scar from navel to, to throat or chest or whatever? 
he challenged Ned's brother and lost for her hand. So he's always kind of loved her, you know what I'm saying? And then once Ned's brother died, the next brother would be the one, in, you know, that's because the, they want to keep that connection to those houses. Right. So when they were married, they didn't, like, love each other or anything. Obviously, they've learned, too. Yeah. But Littlefinger still has that deep-seated love for Catelyn that he'll never get because she's married to somebody else. So yeah. It's definitely the the uh, lover, not fighter, thinker, not yes. warrior. Yeah. So. Yep. You know, with all of five of those guys that are on, on that council, they each have their own form of power. Like... Renly Baratheon is just Robert's brother, so that's his power, his, his yeah. connection. Littlefinger is all about money. It's all about connections of debt and all that stuff. He has a whorehouse that makes a lot of money for him, you know? Yeah. But when he goes to spend money for the crown, he doesn't spend his own money. He doesn't spend the crown's money. He spends other people's money. That way, he, everybody owes each other everything. Varys, who is the spy master, who they also call the spider because he had a lot of webs, you know? His power is information. And then uh, Grandmaster Pycelle, who is the old decrepit master, you know, his power is... Wisdom. It's wisdom, but it's also speaking into ears and, and, and manipulating people and not being exactly what he seems, you <laughs> know? Um, so we got that. And then uh, what did you think of Old Nan's story? Seems a winter that lasts a thousand years. Men were born and died under it, right? Mm -hmm. The White Walkers came with their dead horses and spiders as large as hounds. And white spiders. Yep. You know, that's the story that you tell children. Yeah. Yeah. But we know from watching the first episode that there's something out there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I just always thought it was interesting that old Nan is sitting there telling you, like, hey, there's stuff going on. Everybody's like, Phew. Yeah, she's getting she's, she's drunk again. She just pissed off. It's <laughs> yeah. fine. <laughs> yep. The last thing I, you know we could talk about a little bit is the, the Rangers. Like the Night's Watch has three separate casts, right? They have um, stewards who like take care of everything. Like they cook, they clean, they serve people. You know, serve the leadership stuff like that. There are the builders who maintain the wall and the castles, and then there are the Rangers. Who are like the heroes. They go out. They hunt they wild actually do the they, fight. Yeah. And we have to remember there are, you know, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of barbarian tribes out there. That's, you know, one of the things the Night, the night to Watch actually does, like what people think they do, is they just keep those things and, you know, they don't want them to come across the wall and raid northern villages and stuff. Which, right. they, which they do. Um, well, the so, other castles... Yeah. yeah, the nine other castles are unmanned. There's actually three manned castles. There are oh. there are ten total, but there's two at the sea because you have to have your two at your sea. Right, so they don't know. just swim around. Exactly, and there's the one in the middle, which is Castle Black. And I think that's going to be pretty much it. We had a little bit of a history lesson right there. Yeah, uh, but obviously things are the story is starting to move along and stuff. I I always felt in the first season every episode got better and better. Like, the first one's like, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of information. And then the end, like, oh, I gotta watch the next one, you know? Yeah. And then the same thing with the second one. You get to the end, oh, I gotta watch the next one. Yep. The third one is when things start kind of moving around, and then it just goes, right? Okay. Because we're still going. We're gonna need to watch the next one. And that means that we're gonna have to wait until Saturday to do it, because <sighs> we're releasing yeah. these on Saturday and Sunday of every week. Um, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. You'll be able to check out everything coming out of blind wave over this next week and today is sunday so i hear rumors are that the star wars trailer will drop star tomorrow wars, yeah. at 8 30 and i promise we will have it up as soon as possible so yeah. make sure you guys are coming back here because we're going to talk about that a lot and you can uh, check out at least for the next week and a half or so every episode of dragon ball z a bridge that we're doing yeah um, so anyway, there's a whole lot of stuff. That means that you want to hit that subscribe button. You definitely want to like the video, and you definitely want to come back next reaction. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. And we'll see you guys next time.